A delegation sent by the Biden administration is wrapping up its whirlwind 30-hour trip to Taiwan. The five former defense and security officials met top Taiwan officials on Wednesday for talks on regional peace. At a reception with President Tsai Ing-wen, the group reaffirmed the U.S.'s support for Taiwan and said Washington would continue to oppose unilateral change to the status quo of the strait. President Tsai said that amid the crisis in Ukraine, it was clear that democracies around the world must work together to defend their values. President Tsai Ing-wen bumps elbows with former U.S. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Mike Mullen. He was there at the head of a high-profile security delegation sent by the Biden administration. Speaking at their reception, Tsai underscored the significance of the visit. At a time when the international community is firmly focused on the situation in Ukraine, President Biden has sent your delegation to Taiwan, which demonstrates the importance the U.S. places on our bilateral partnership and reflects our rock-solid ties. More importantly, your visit highlights Taiwan's role in regional and global security. The president condemned Russia's actions in Ukraine. Since conflict broke out, Taiwan has imposed economic sanctions on Russia and sent humanitarian aid to Ukraine in a show of solidarity with freedom and democracy. History teaches us that if we turn a blind eye to military aggression, we only worsen the threat to ourselves. The Ukrainian people's commitment to protect their freedom and democracy and their fearless dedication to defending their country have been met with deep empathy from the people of Taiwan, as we too stand on the front line of the battle for democracy. We come to Taiwan at a very difficult and critical moment in world history. As President Biden has said, democracy is facing sustained, and alarming challenges, most recently in Ukraine. Now more than ever, democracy needs champions. Amid China's growing threat, Mullen stressed that the U.S. was committed to supporting Taiwan. We in Taiwan want the world to know that we have the determination to defend ourselves. The crisis in Ukraine has shown the world that cooperation and coordinated action among democratic countries is crucial. This delegation reflects the bipartisan nature of support for the United States' strong partnership with Taiwan. Maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait is not just a U.S. interest, but also a global one. The U.S. delegation also met Vice President Lai ching De. At midday, they attended a banquet hosted by Foreign Minister Joseph Wu before paying a call on Premier Su Jin Chang and Defense Minister Chiu Guo Zhen. <laughs> How can free democracies unite and work together so that totalitarianism and China's leadership in particular don't dare to take rash action? Taiwan called for unity among democracies as the U.S. delegation reaffirmed its support for Taiwan amid China's growing threat. The visit was a warning to Beijing to not misjudge the situation and make a move on Taiwan.